Trudy, get it, Ellie. She's spilling it everywhere. Trudy, can you get it? Trudy! Ellie, just grab the bag. Ellie! Trudy, get her, Ellie! Man, Andy, Andy just doesn't get it. What's the attraction with a bunch of fattening animal crackers? She's, Annie is like that one, you know those people that are always in shape? Annie's like those fitness people. Some folks, man, uh, it, sometimes I get embarrassed. I'll be on my bus run and I'll pass by a house early in the morning, tired, and I'll see a mom come out to drop her kids off at the bus and she'll be already in her workout gear. And that means that she is heading off to the gym at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, man, I should be doing that. Yeah, that's Annie. She's that person who's always been working out. Always fitness. It's all about fitness, folks. Fitness. That's Annie. And she makes me... Hey, Ringo! Yeah, Annie. Annie makes me feel bad about myself. I'm not saying we should all be fat. But I'll tell you what, if we could all just learn to love each other the way we are, the way God made us. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Lester, God didn't make no one like that. Tacos is what made you like that, Lester. Too many tacos, and you're probably right. I just made my way out to the barn uh, to check on everybody. It's about noon. And uh, I was worried because I could not find that baby calf. I know it's hard for you all to see, but I saw uh, Pearl. I scanned over here. I saw Tex. I saw Santiana. Man, I looked over there and I saw Moo. I know the horses over here near the stall. One horse over here beside me eating. And all of a sudden, I come over here and uh, if, you, if you can't see what I'm looking at, look at this. Now, tell me what's going on here. <laughs> I could not find her for anything, and I don't know why, but she's just laid herself down in that pile of hay, and she's chomping away at it, and uh, Dixie's over here, I guess babysitting. So, Sister Lou, who's actually my sister-in-law, this is Daniel's wife, Uncle Dan, <laughs> that's so confusing. <laughs> Sister oh, Kim, Sister Lou, milk. Uncle Dan. So baby goat has oatmeal all over her. And she's, uh, what happened oh was gosh. I had a bucket of oatmeal for the pigs and she was trying to eat out of it. And she ended up jumping inside of it. So she got herself submerged in oatmeal up to her little top of her legs. And Lou, now I know, it's all over all you. Lou, it's I am okay. so sorry. It's Lou, come down to talk about the YouTube page. You know, Lou helped me with the, look at this, Lou. Can you see this little girl? She is such a lady. She sits like such the lady. Yeah, like she's like English, I think. She's British. And she sits English style. Uh, I guess that's how English women sit. Sideways. <laughs> at least on, at least horse. on horses, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do they sit that way in public too? I don't know. But uh, she does. But uh, Luke comes in to talk about the YouTube channel. <laughs> Look at this. She jumped up on there side by side and got her all nasty. And now it's all in over you. Workplace. You have to go home and change. Don't let Dan see you. Oh, did you see that, Lou? Yep. That was the meanest thing, Roxy. Mm -hmm. She just put, and that could, that's a long fall. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, the uh, sissy took it in stride, which is awesome. So, um, yeah. Ellie, I could use your help. <laughs> Give it to me, Ellie. Give it to me. Ellie, could you just please get that? I'd rather not pry it out of her mouth, though. Just, you have to get it out of her mouth or she chokes on it, son. If y'all notice what Tex is doing, I have to fix that. Listen, the light company come over here and they set that pole. Can y'all see it wobble? They set that pole and they run those, those wires down right there into my pasture. Now, I don't know why they would have done that. Yes, I, they never ask. They never come by here and says, hey, can we do this? Can we do that? And so I guess those wires are for, to support that pole. But the thing is, every cow, look at that transformer just wobbling around up there. Every cow, every horse walks by and to get a good scratch. Let me just show y'all inside this bucket. Now, Adam or Steve has come in and he's babysitting the chicks. These are Jamie's hatchlings. And Adam or Steve has come in to watch them. 
But inside that bucket right there is Adam or Steve's girlfriend. And uh, yeah, she's just in there gonna hang out with Adam and Steve. But there's no room for him. He has to stand outside and stand guard. And he has no problem doing that. He's watching the babies while she rests. She actually lays eggs, so she's that little girl. Gracie, baby, you had me worried. You did have me worried. You had me so worried. I don't know why Tex is staring over here. He's like, leave Gracie alone. She's in timeout. I put her in there. Oh, oh, baby, I hope that's not true. Tex says, you can come out of timeout now, Gracie. But you better be sweet. She's like, yes, sir. Which is what all kids say when they have to. Yes, sir, daddy. And he's like, uh-uh, it is sir, yes, sir, when you speak to me. <laughs> and she's like, sir, yes, sir. Oh, we have to actually replace the filter. The filter broke this weekend. Y'all should really invest in one of those because that's like, they're like six or seven hundred dollars, but that's like the best investment I ever. I bought just a regular old vacuum, but I. Yes, your mask is cool. Wait. You have an ear that's jacked. One of your ears have come out. The point of this is to keep your ear protected. And so flies don't get up into your ear holes. There. I'm glad I noticed that. There. Now you're cool again. Yes, you're cool. Don't even say no, because you are. You're cool. Give me those back. Give me those. Give me, give me, Trudy, Trudy, you're spilling oatmeal everywhere, little sweet girl. You're going to be trapped. Ha, 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 trapped you in the corner, didn't I? Give me those oatmeal, give me that, give me those oat. give me that, give me that, Trudy, 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 give me that bag of oatmeal, sweet girl. In case you're wondering what all of those demonic sounds are, that would be Pig Newton. And see, that's troublesome because Annie's trying to nap. Annie says it's a beautiful day. I wouldn't mind getting a little sun on my body. And Newton just keeps screaming. Red Rum. He's, no, he's literally screaming, Red Rum, Red Rum, Red Rum. Some of y'all know that reference. Some of y'all know that reference to Red Rum. And uh, from The Shining. And that's all Pig Newton screams. He doesn't understand. Everyone's gathered around. They think it's time. Guys, it's noon. Everyone has gathered around. And they're expecting some kind of a snack. Okay, you know what? How can you say no? I would like to say no because you already had your breakfast. Okay. Sheesh. I. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Like I was saying, Ivy, I would like to say no because you've already had breakfast. But since you're all being so sweet and since it's obvious that Pig Newton didn't get enough breakfast, then I'll be happy to bring some animal crackers out, okay? He is still so embarrassed of that mask he has to wear that he's decided to stand here all day and hide out put his face in the corner it's i know buddy and look over here it's not much better for you is it yours is not quite as bad adam or steve has finally brought his girlfriend out for a drink of water they're hanging out around the water cooler yeah, that's what they do you know don't think that you're the only folks who when you go to work you meet up around the water cooler I just want to take a little peek inside that uh, bucket and see if by chance. <laughs> Y'all thought I was making that up, didn't you? Y'all thought I was making that up, didn't you? There you go. Hey, I just found your egg hiding spot. And so she's like, well, I found your trash pile. And I'm going to say, this is not my trash pile. This is my snack table. Okay. This is actually your snack table. Guys, I know it looks trashy. And I really, really am embarrassed about this. 
I'm so embarrassed because look what we have received two of this week. This is nothing on our wish list. I would have never put that on a wish list, but this is just how amazing you guys are. You see a video and you're like, you know what? I have an idea that can help Lester with all of his, uh, I'm not going to call it mess. All right. So I know what you're all waiting for. And of course, all the babies are going to come running. Come on. I got some snacks, guys. Who wants a snack? All right. All right. I got snacks. Here we go. I'm just going to toss them out. I'm going to do a few handfuls here and there. There's plenty for everybody. Beverly be sweet. Sometimes Beverly can be kind of mean when it comes time for snacks. I hate, I know what y'all are saying. Lester, don't make them eat it off the ground. Well, don't worry. Ringo won't eat off the ground. Ringo's going to demand that I put some right in his mouth. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I love her. Baby, I don't have any more. Don't bite my face off. I am not putting my face near Ringo. I will hand feed Ringo, but he will not take a bite out of my mouth. There's no way. Get babies. You all still hungry? Okay. Man, when I said I'm going to go through an entire pack, I wasn't joking. But uh, what I do around my workplace on payday Fridays, you know that... Every once in a while, you'll end up getting your payday on a Friday. So something that I started doing on payday Fridays is stopping by the uh, donut shop and buying kolaches and donuts for all my, uh, the teachers down my hall. And so I'd roll up in there with, you know, 24 kolaches, 24 donuts. And then what I would do is, uh, my first class, I'd have come some of my students walk the donuts or walk the kolaches down the hall and pass them out to all the teachers. But there was this one teacher that would never eat one. She would always turn them down. There was this one teacher, y'all. She never took a kolache. She never took a donut. No, she was just like that. She'd shake her head no. And I always, the kids would always come back and there'd always be a couple of extra kolaches or donuts. And I'm like, who didn't take one? And I already knew it was always that lady. And she was that same fitness type lady. Always, listen, 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 I'm not talking mess about her. I, you actually admire it, folks. You admire it. But I remember that sometimes after school, uh... She would actually change clothes there in the teacher's lounge bathroom. And you know why? She put on her workout outfit to go work out. And I'm like, how can someone work all day? You know, and teachers are on your feet. They don't, teaching today is not like teaching of, of yesteryear. Teaching today means you're on your feet. You don't sit down. I mean, unless you have a really good reason to sit down. Mr. Huck, you okay? But, uh, so you're on your feet all day. And then, if that's not enough, as soon as school's over, she would run change clothes to go to the gym and get a workout in. That's Annie, y'all. That's like Annie. This oatmeal is like crack cocaine to these guys. Sweet baby, get out of the oatmeal. Move away from the oatmeal. Ah, uh, guys, seriously, I don't know why y'all ever sent her oatmeal because look at her. Look at her now. Baby, please move away from the oatmeal. There we go. I gotta stir this stuff up because all the other babies are waiting for it. And you have done take, don't you bite my hand. Sweet girl, move away from the... She's got Ellie, help your father. All right, buddy. All right. I'm feeling a little sluggish today, Tim. Can you give me any advice? <laughs> Is there any advice you can give me, Tim, on days I feel a little sluggish? Hmm? No advice from Tiny Tim? Nothing you got for Daddy? Okay. How about you, Trudy? Today I'm feeling a little bit sluggish. Is there any advice you can give me on days where I need to pick me up? Nothing you got, baby? Nothing? 
You got nothing for me either. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I'll just continue to feel sluggish then. You know, you could just say embrace it, Dad. You could say we love you for who you are, Dad. We love you for who you are, Daddy. I don't care about anything else. We love you for the fact that you are our daddy, our human. Hmm, I know. <laughs> You're a good boy. You're a good boy, old tiny, tiny Tim. Oh, boy. Look at that, y'all. There you go. Tim saying just embrace it, daddy. Just embrace who you are, dad. <laughs> oh, his tooth. All right, Tammy, I do I gotta get up. I do got a few jobs to do. But I do love you just the way God made you. Okay? You need to know that I love you the way God made you. Hey, I love you the way God made you too, okay? All right? You know that I do. I'm sorry, Timmy. I gotta go. I gotta go, though. I got a couple of jobs to do. Can't sit down now, Tim, or I'll never get back up. One peek at our sweet baby over here. No video can be complete without a little snippet of our babies. They're all inside the fenced in yard. They've already had their breakfast bottles. And they've also eaten all of our avocado tree li uh, leaves. They've eaten up on our tomato plants, the bamboo. Yeah, they've pretty much eat whatever they want. And now they're all running around playing, doing what kids do. already fed you. Whoa, Lord. Right. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving.